Hey yo, what's up guys, welcome to today's video. This is the fourth time I did this intro because I keep messing up. We're checking out a house mod, actually apartment mod. Again, I mess up again. I restart, I guess. No, we'll keep trucking on. Uh, this one is an apartment. It's a pretty kind of interesting apartment. I like it. It has a whole new location, so it's a thumbs up for me. I always like these type of mods. This is actually made by, how the fuck do you say this? Uh, Guliaum56. Guliaumi56. Why can I never pronounce people's names? Why are people's names so difficult or usernames? Anyway, though. As always, link is in the description if you want to download it yourself. So we're going to take a nice little drive. I'm kind of going to cut this guy up in front here. We're going to take a nice little drive down there to the location of the apartment. I actually like the location. It's a very nice location. I don't think there has been much houses there. So I, I definitely like that it's a new kind of part of the town. Or not really like new, new, but it's... It's not been used often, so I definitely like this apartment. I think it's great. It adds a nice location. So hopefully we'll keep seeing these type of apartments because it's pretty cool to have up little parts from apartments like this, especially for like things like series and mods and mod video kind of um, let's play things that I'm doing, you know, where it's kind of like a real life series and then you can buy a new apartment and you can come here. It, it's awesome to use this for that type of things. And it actually has got some really good details. It's a pretty clean apartment. I'm just kind of going past all these red lights just to get there a little bit quicker. So it's on our left in one of these apartments here. We need to turn, I think, uh, I'm going to do a very illegal turn here. Go this way. And here we go. There we go. I took the right turn at least. You see the little arrowhead? That's where we need to go. So you can perfectly park up here. No problem. This is really a perfect apartment. I mean, this would have been ideal for my Franklin series. But I already have an apartment in my Franklin series. So maybe we'll get a new apartment. I'll keep this one in mind. Maybe when we're looking for new apartments, I'll be able to get this one. It's super cool. So where we need to go is up the stairs. So I'm presuming. Actually, is there no way to get up here? Do you have to jump up? Really? What? So I have to... Wait, you have to go all the way over here. Oh no, that's not even a... How the fuck are you meant to get up there? So, I mean, without looking like a criminal, which is kind of jumping over this like this, how are you meant to go over here? Are you meant to come from this? So you're telling me you have to go all the way around this side. Well, I guess you could park up here. There is parking spaces down here, so you could technically park here and it would be fine. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's actually go inside the apartment because it's pretty goddamn nice. It's not very big. It's it's like a perfect apartment for like a, you know, a young working adult type of thing. So here we go. We go through here and obviously it's going to teleport us into a to uh, into the apartment. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we bloody go. Now one thing, I don't know why it's a little bit kind of um, glitchy. Like I can't... Depending on what angle you watch, it kind of flickers. It's really weird. I don't, I don't know why this bug has happened. I haven't really had this before. I can't seem to do it now. I'm sure it will do it eventually. This always happens. Maybe you need to stand out like a right corner or something. It's kind of weird. Oh, there you go. You see that? It's kind of like flickering. You see that? It's built and then it comes in. It pops in and out. It's weird. I don't know why that's a bug. But that exists. That would be my only complaint. And I don't know if that's because part of the mod or is that because part of my game. But nonetheless, so let's have a little bit of a look. So there's two levels, upstairs, downstairs. Holy crap, it kind of feels like you're walking in Matrix because it disappears and it comes back. Uh, so as you walk in through the apartment, you kind of get this kitchen. It's a nice open kitchen, pretty decent. You know, you got your fridge, all your equipment, nice little details there. You know, you got a little bit of a table. So everything there, clean, looking fresh, professional. Outside, you can kind of walk as well, but it's, it's one of those where you fly through, you see that it's not a building. You see that? Yeah, so you have to fly back in and you're in the apartment. It's a little bit tricky. So you can come out, fly back in. But technically, you could fly out and you can actually stand outside here. So you got like a little bit of a porch. Porch area? What, balcony? That's the right word, balcony. But the views are pretty nice for the balcony, I guess. Then further on down here, you have a nice little living room. It looks pretty modern and, and kind of like professional. Nothing too crazy. You see the, you see the textures kind of load? I, I wonder why it does that. And through here, I'm going to guess maybe a bathroom toilet area. And yes, here we go. Just a simple, clean bathroom toilet. No complaints here. There's actual bathing. Not bath, but washing machine. I mean, is it normal to keep a washing machine near your bath? Normally, in England, washing machines are like 99% of the time in the kitchen. So it's always weird to see that the 
washing machines are always anywhere else. I don't know. Yeah, like, where, guys, where do you keep your washing machine? Where's your washing machine? Because, like, washing machine kind of rooms or dry rooms, whatever they're called in America, like, don't really exist in England. But let's go upstairs. That's about it for the downstairs. I mean, I like it. Well, tell me what you think. It's super clean, super nice and modern looking. Upstairs, here we go. We got the uh, bedroom. And there's actually a dude here as well. So that's a little bit awkward. So this is the guy, I guess, who lives here. Pretty goddamn cool. Look at him. He's, he's well, you, you, you're you using your keyboard wrong a little bit. Yeah, well, it's definitely whatever, I mean. But, I mean, maybe he's just, maybe he's high on drugs. And he's kind of freaking the fuck out right now. But upstairs as well. Nice, clean. Very believable, I think that's my biggest um, kind of thumbs up I would do. Very believable and clean looking apartment. So, you know, you have your downstairs, you got your upstairs, downstairs bedroom, downstairs has got the kitchen, living room, toilet, upstairs you got the nice bedroom. You know, you come come here, look, you got your bed, you got your TV set up there, and it's just believable and looks good. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, there's details here as well, nice little gaming area here for the guy. Yeah, it looks like he's a big dad, which is a thumbs up for me. He's got his gaming rig set up. It doesn't really look much of a gaming rig. <laughs> that looks like a little shitty, like, 200-pound uh, PC table thing. And then over there, he's got, like, triple monitors. That thing can't run three monitors. What? But I actually have no complaints about this. I think it looks pretty goddamn good. No complaints, boys. Let me know what you think. Once again, you can kind of fly through here as well and have a look at the apartment like this. But apart from that... It's super cool. So here's the apartment. This is level 2. Level 1 is down here so you can fly here and you're in the actual apartment. Dude, I kind of I kind of actually really like this. I have no complaints about this. Looks good. Looks very very nice, clean, perfect apartment. I'd like to see some more maybe like bigger ones with maybe like more rooms. Um bigger apartments and stuff like maybe even if the same location but upstairs here like have like an apartment or something i really like that that was pretty goddamn kind of awesome so thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like click a share because that's how my channel grow appreciate love and support i'll see your faces next time and thank you for watching guys bye